games today. Okay. The good people of TwitchTube. TwitchTube. Okay. Six, no. Yeah. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it. Stupid ass smart TV. Hate having a smart TV. I like smart TVs. I hate them. They're useless. <laughs> Fucking everybody, everybody on the face of the earth should have a computer of some sort. Get an HDMI cable, connect your computer to your TV. Mm. Like, there's no reason to have a smart TV. They're useless. If you're, if you live in this day and age, you don't have a computer, you're living life wrong. Because just about any computer on the market, even like a little cheap $120 laptop, can at least stream videos. So, just buy, you want to freaking, instead of spending $800 on a smart TV, spend $400 on a decent sized flat screen TV. And $100 on a laptop, and boom, there's your smart TV. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hot takes. Hot takes. <laughs> hot takes from your old pal Ark Nova on Twitch. Oh, wait, before I call it a day, I can now. Launching planner. Yes, launch my planner. Alright. So, who do you like more? Elaine or Ashen? I don't know. I like who, like, are you trying to decide who you gonna be, have the connection with for the dates? I don't know if there's dates in this game. I would just assume. These are basically the dates. The so, dates. I don't know. Let's see what the connection effects say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah she, I guess that's how we should decide. She gives me no buff, and that's the only buff she's given me so far. Uh, support chain effects. Well, maybe because she's not in our party, right? Or does she? Maybe she doesn't become in our party. I don't know. We're gonna hang out with Ashin. Okay, we go. Ashin from Aji. That's a group decided to take us to the east. What she's doing in Edith, we'll never know. Da -da -da -da. We might know later. Nihao Van. Oh, that is <laughs> not a good patron. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, that is not a good. That was, that was a stiff animation there. Ooh, that was not good. Thanks for coming. <laughs> You're okay with giving me a little tour, right? But first, I was thinking, whoa, pump the brakes a sec. I had a quick question for you, if you don't mind. You picked a weird-ass time to visit Edith. What's the itinerary? I doubt you're here on your own. Yeah, Baba's on a business trip here, so I decided to tag along. Though I do have some business of my own, if I'm being honest. Right, the sketchy business, if I had to <laughs> guess. Doubt your old man's negotiating bake sales. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. He's got a few of our companies together to figure out a plan for you-know-who. Sal came along as well, but he's... Well, I'm not sure where he is, actually. <laughs> Real shame, honestly. This was a wonderful chance for a date. Oh. White Orchid Dragon's up to something, huh? Like a small knife. Well, anyway, I still have a while before the meeting, so I figured, why not take a walk around? Mm. Baba's busy getting everything ready with the attendees, so I have nothing else to do. You know Edith like the back of your hand, don't you? I mean, yeah, but can't Aaron do it? Might as well ask him. No, Aaron's not really my type. <laughs> you are. I did, but he canceled out of nowhere, the jerk. He didn't even call me. He texted. Can you believe that? Just texted me. Something came up. Go ask the old man if he'll do it. He hasn't changed a bit, I swear. Yeah, I had to read that in fucking... <laughs> I had to read that in a mocking voice. Yeah. Because I feel like she was going to mock him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that little shit. <laughs> Come on, man, please. For me... It's been so long since I last visited Edith. There's so much to see. So many souvenirs to buy. So many bags for you to carry. <laughs> It'll be a favor Heiwei owes you for. Come on, please. Heiwei really isn't going to care about... <sighs> okay, fine. I'll show you around a bit. We'll call it an apology for how that job thing went down. Yay, thanks. 
Please don't make me carry all the bags. She's gonna make me carry all the bags. Hey, which of these do you think would look good on Sal? I don't know. I'm too busy thinking what look what would look good on you. <laughs> like, I got Riz, I got Gabe. You got some Gabe? You're really thinking about him instead? Thought this tour was for you. Oh. Oh, don't be such a killjoy. Thou and I are in Edith together for the very first time. This is the perfect chance to deepen our bound. He's probably twice your age. Hmm. Can I pick a matching piece out for myself? Now that I think about it, I think that's a good idea. I can just hear him now. Ah, we match, I see. Ooh, that's a big one. Ooh. That's a big one on my back. Stop. Oh, here. Yeah, I think so. You ready? No, it's not ready yet. Nope, it's not going. It's not going. Okay. I'm not digging. And then he'll get all busted and ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Lady, your mind works in strange ways. What about what looks good on me? <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of gift he'd like. I, I like chocolate. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. Our stores have a wide variety of fine goods for sale. Shut up! <laughs> we hope you enjoy shopping with us. Shut up! Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Urban Fairy is cold around this time of year. So maybe I should get him a pair of gloves? Or perhaps a scarf? Is this for your little brother? He's studying in Urban Fairy right now, ain't he? That's right. After all the trouble in Crossville a year and a half ago, he decided to study abroad. I'm going to broaden my horizons, were his words, as I recall. His experience over there must have been eye-opening. Yeah, it seems like you're proud of the kid. I am, but he could stand to be a little less cheeky. And I wish he wouldn't fall head over heels for girls who are way out of his age range. Oh. <laughs> Looking to buy that for Gein? Yeah, he's a bit of a soba addict. According to him, nothing beats it when you're tuckered out. Sounds like he's been busy as a bee. He does a lot of advising these days. Guess that screw up of his didn't shake his standing in Hayway all that much. Mm -hmm. I'd suggest buying flour from Cray. Soba fans love that stuff. So if you give him that, he'll be in seventh heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, really now? Well, I think I'll trust your advice and go with that then. What are you getting? It's some food. You just had food! Yeah, I know. Like, should we put the stream on pause and go make your damn dinner? Nah, nah. I think I'm gonna have a you just, you just had a whole ass pizza! I had a small pizza. A personal pizza! For your person! Well, I got some time to kill. What to do, hmm? Maybe I'll stop by for a bit of booze while the sun's still up, and then some cuties for when it goes down. So this is where you've been, Aaron. You look awfully relaxed for someone who just ditched all his responsibilities on me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hey. Why are you here? It's not that hard to guess what you get up to. How come you canceled on me last minute? You haven't been causing trouble for everyone, right? I so know you messed up your sleeping schedule again, and I bet your diet's not far off. Oh, you did not just come all the way to have her and nag at me. <laughs> you were asking for it. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, I did. Fucking <laughs> me and me and Ashen. Ben and Ashton took Aaron around town having him serve as her tour guide for the day. <laughs> After ending their tour at Treon Tower, they returned to the Satan District. <laughs> and then they had it coming, bub. Bubba lubba. Bubs. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was fun. I got to buy a ton of stuff. I got to see all the sights. Everything. It was really something seeing the tower up close. It gives the Great Spire a run for its mirror. Not sure those are really in the same category, but fair enough. Hey. Oh, don't worry about them. I'm perfectly aware of them. I assume you're here on Lou family business? You're quite a ways from Longport, though. Seems everybody's traveling on business these days. Ha! I'd expect no less of you, Lady Ashton. Zhang Zhongshou, huh? Not from the Lou family, are they? Indeed not, though they seem awfully casual for Zhang Shou. Normally they try to hide their presence. 
So is the message being sent here from a Zhang Show doesn't even need to try in order to keep tabs on little old me? I think you're mistaken, Lady Asha. My master simply wishes to banish these clouds looming over Heiyue that we might shine brighter. It's really impressive how you can say that with a straight face. You don't know what my face looks like under this mask. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking my tongue out of you. I'm going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You really think your master is looking to resolve all this peacefully? That just doesn't sound right, does it? Now, obviously, I'm not going to pick a fight with you, at least not in public. But if, that's a big if, your boss thinks he can get the better of us, then the Lu family will accept your challenge anytime. I will let them know. Get a ninja, man. All right, let's head back for now. Okay, wait. Give me a second to process all that. Hey, you his own little princess, huh? Apple doesn't fall far from the tree there. Remind me not to piss you off. I like having my head on my neck. Scared to think what would have happened if I turned you down. How rude. I wouldn't have done anything. Probably. <laughs> I do value our friendship, man, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> I really owe you, both for Longport and for keeping Aaron safe. I mean it. Oh, I know. I was just messing with you. But what were you talking about back there? Sounded like some kind of turf war business? Oh, just some shadow sneaking around. It's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Baba might have told you, but Heiyue is split between several groups and families. Sometimes we have to tie the loose ends back up ourselves. <laughs> so, the Tojo clan. <laughs> Hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's what Yeye always said. Okay, let's head on back. I should let Baba know what happened. Do you want to see him? He should be back now, and I think he might want to thank you for today. I'm good, thanks. That's kind of like asking me to walk into a minefield. No offense. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't antagonize us like that. Oh, but you're Baba's little baby. Ashin eventually got banned to reconsider. Red, comply, and exchange pleasantries with her, with her father. Despite being worn out from the encounter, Van met with the rest of the gang and went right back to work. This is one relationship I'll cherish. For Heiyue, as much as anything else. Ooh, I guess we're going to try. Ah. The girl with the monarch's education. We didn't care too much. <laughs> Alright, so I maxed out one bond. Yeah, and we got stuff. Law alignment two. Uh, what did I get? I got Cerulean Charm, which gives me... Oh, 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 that's a lot of magic defense. Magics. Okay, anyway. Call it a day. Go sleep. We go sleep. That's oh. you. That's me. That's always you. Thanks. Every night. Thanks. Every night comes with a price. Every night comes with a fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't hurt you by pulling on his arm, right? No, it's okay. luckily it's feeling much better okay. now. Good. I, See, I, I can do this now. Yeah, I, com I completely forgot that's the hurt arm. It is. <laughs> Shall I bandage it again so you know? That would be helpful, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be helpful, yes. <laughs> what did she send me? I agreed to meet up with the immovable once my other work is done. Okay, you do the reading. Should I head over there now? Do we call it a day or we hold we on? We call it a day. Call it a day. What did my mom fucking send you? Afterward, they went to Station Street to pick up some odds and ends. Then, when it came time to return to the office... October 18th, 3.30. Like, I clicked on it, but nothing pops up, but... Weird. Hmm. It's a little early, but I think we should call it a day. You can head on back to the office. On yes, feel free to go straight to the dorms if you want. Get out of my town. Be gone. Shoo. Really? Does this have to do with your conversation with that bracer earlier? Nah, it's nothing that important. Just put. It doesn't no. really matter where you put the bandage. I'm putting it 
Well, then let me do it. God, no, no. That, I can be gentle. Well, let me show you my it. gentle. I don't want you to do Dear, it. Dear, you always bandage me. It's my turn. All right, well, I want it this way. I don't want it this way. There you go. Thank you. I can be gentle, baby. Okay, thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even touch you. Reactive fear. I was so <laughs> far away. It, it was heart. scary. I thought you were going to smack me. I'm obviously not going to smack you. Here, I don't know. <laughs> Nah, it's something that important. Oh, and your trial period's over. Is that I don't know how long you're planning on hanging around, but we're happy to have you. Thank you. I'll bring the supplies we purchased back to our base. Appreciate it. Anyway, don't stay out too late now, you guys. Oh. Hmm. Why is he running off all on his own? It's man business. Some Yo. Space. <laughs> Yo, Aaron. Yo, what up, old man? Man business. Man business. <laughs> Meet you in five. <laughs> The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> Man's business. <laughs> you never ask a woman her age or a man his business. Oh. Do you think we should track him? We shouldn't invade his privacy, but That's right. yes. But aren't you curious on yes? I mean, yes, but. Or is that. Aren't you against prying into Van's business too? Oh Not at no! All. I don't. I, I've I've been prying into his fucking business for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I'm his concierge. He's my tester. I do what I want. <laughs> On the contrary, I'm in full support. <laughs> oh, of course you would be, you fucking bitch. I've been fiercely curious about his destination. Furthermore, it seemed he was going there for the sake of his acquaintance rather than for personal business. But in truth, I was recommended to start spending more time as I please. So I intend to do just that. You <laughs> bitch, that's not what I meant and you fucking know it. <laughs> what? All right, then we shouldn't leave anyone out. Let's call Aaron. Oh, what? God, don't call Aaron. <laughs> Yo, Aaron, we're going, we're going man hunting. Will you be coming along, Miss Claudel? I, uh, fine, I don't want to be the only one left out. I, <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to be the only non-stalker. So easily swayed. <laughs> Do the creep. creep. Do the creep. <laughs> I really thought you were more mature than this. Oh, no, on the contrary. I'm only 20 years old. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm younger than Van. I apologize for my imperfect nature. I am still only 20. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was just fucking kidding. I was just kidding with the 20 year old. I was just kidding with the whole 20 years old. <laughs> Why do I know everything? Why am I the master of me? <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm only 20 years old. Fucking why do I why do I know the jokes, dear? <laughs> I was just fucking kidding, but okay. Like he knows you're fucking following. Right, like what? Yeah, like a fairy, fairy of all people, because he knew she was following us. That's why he did the the zoop invisible in the alley thing to catch her behind. Yeah. So why the fuck does she think she can track me? I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> did you see him running in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those losers. Anyway. Anyway, I got fucking business to do. <laughs> <laughs> business, 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 business. Oh. Man's business. Oh, that's right. We're in Area C3, which is a place that we know nothing about, but e it's a place. Yep. Yo, Zin. Man, a big ass bracelet like you can't just stand around here and not expect to get stairs. His. Like. His outline is so fucking weird right now. Oh, yeah, on the rock. Hey there, sorry for calling on such short notice. How'd you manage to convince the others to let you go? Don't worry about it. I lost him anyways. But think you could give me more of a heads up next time? Those kids will poke their nose into anything once they catch a whiff. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, next time. <sighs> so what do you even want from me? If you just wanted someone to help you blend in, wouldn't Elaine or Clausel have been better? Or done the job just fine? 
They're tough enough to serve as backup, but they'd probably make me stand out more than you think. Besides, I think you're a better fit with who we're about to meet. Oh, come on! Hey, I'll buy you a drink for the trouble. Anyone else get going? You don't buy him with drinks, you buy him with sweets. And cake. <laughs> and cake. <laughs> Wedding cake. Yeah, I still can't believe that was six months. <laughs> like, real time. Yeah, that was. That's a, that's a lot of One Piece. <laughs> that's a lot of cake. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of cake. Blacklight District. That's what I'm. I completely forgot where we were going because I wasn't paying too much attention since, you know, a lot of the fucking on and off and side quests. But I was right. And it's business. Yeah. Well, here we are. The place the city's very worst call home. For how long it's been around, it's kind of crazy how much more lively it's gotten in the past few years. No kidding. You won't find it on any map, yet people are still somehow finding their way down here. But what criminal wouldn't be tempted by a literal lawless zone where they can let off all the steam they damn well please? Might be a bit much for your little ones to handle right now, though. Yeah, hate to do it, but I gotta introduce them to it eventually. Can't say ignorant of its existence forever when you're in this line of work. <laughs> True enough. So my impression of you being a mother hen looking after her chicks wasn't so far off after all, huh? Oh, fuck you. Oh, can it. So where are we going? <clears throat> well, let's peek in at the nearby bars for starters. Watch your back, all right? I know. Mind if I split? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Where's your adventurous spirit? I don't have one. <laughs> your time's run out. Fine, let's play. People just fighting the fight down here. <laughs> It's a literal all in zone for criminals. I guess. Damn, Jin's fucking feet are huge. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're, they're mega dead. Yeah, they're mega dead. Anyway. And that's how it's done. <clears throat> Almost feel sorry for the bastards in hindsight. Almost. Gotta be pretty wet behind the ears to pick a fight with the immovable and not know what they're getting into. Goes to show why the Taito school still got its rep. It's lost some of its luster from back in the day, alas. The central dojo's closed down ten years ago. Master Ryuga passed. Now it hangs on by a thread, split between several disparate dojos. Speaking of those... Hmm? Got something on your mind, champ? I remember you like to go visit all those rinky-dink dojos every now and then and then train with the disciples. Why not take up the mantle and revive the Taito school outright? You ever think of doing that? Can't imagine anyone would have a problem with you taking the reins. I'd love to see that as much as anyone, believe me, but I don't think I'm cut out to lead the whole school like that. And I can't just shirk my duty as a bracer to chase some pipe dream of mine. Maybe once I'm retired, I'll give it some thought. True, Guild probably can't afford to lose somebody as high up as you. Given everything going on right now, yeah. You flatter me. I can't take all the credit, though. You really held your own in that fight back there. You've got a lot of oddball moves in your arsenal. I can tell you're trained in Kunlun. Clear as day. Must have a hell of a master to be able to fight like that. Heh. <laughs> hell of a master is right. He went and wasted his talent on a punk ass like me. <laughs> Couldn't even repay him for everything he did. Ah, you don't say. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving. Our destination should be further in. Okay, anyway. What will it be? Lemon balm cookie. I Literal all his own. Criminals and hoes abound. Cookies. Have some cookies. Yeah. Would sell cookies. Would sell cookies to him. He looks like he needs a cookie. He probably does. He's probably not having a great day. Oh, I've got some fine wares for sale. Do ya? I do. Oh. I said I did. <laughs> okay, upgrade material plus. I have 24 of those. Can't make anything fun yet. Wait, Kaleido glasses. Accuracy plus ninety percent. Completely prints blind. He prints fear. EPA crit plus nine. Prints stat down. That's pretty good. I don't. I do. I need. I need two soldiers medals. I have one. I like another one. Force emblem. Two force emblems. How do you get that? I buy that. Oh. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Tempest Burst. I have Strike 3 already equipped. Hellfire Burst. Crystal Burst. Hmm. I need another Aqua Burst. Come again. Uh, Orbment. Adjustment complete. Okay. Do I have two Aquaverse? I do. Well, look who it is. Mr. Arkride solutions himself. And you got the immovable tagging right along with him, too. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Something must be going on for the two of you to be working together, but I'll mind my own business. <laughs> you sound pretty well informed, sir. Nothing gets past you, does it? You know what they say, knowledge is power. He who knows more controls most. That's the key to staying in the black down here. That is to say, I trust you won't have any problems with my humble little store, Mr. Vathic. Of course, sir, provided you don't cause any trouble for us at the guild. Jeez, talk about an uneasy truce. I ain't sticking my nose into their mind games, no sir. <laughs> anyway. I've got some fine wares for sale. You know, waters. Now I can get crystal verse. Which is just an upgraded version of Aquaverse. And I think you can only you can only have one of the two verses because they're just basically the same thing. Yep. No. 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 I think I can actually have aqua verse and crystal verse. Huh. And by best rare. Come oh, I've got best ah. come again oh, soon. Oh, best come again soon, second boy. Think about it, old man. Adjustment complete. Think long and hard. Hydrant. Attacks and crafts, okay. And a little crystal burst. New skill confirmed. Don't don't tell me what's confirmed. <clears throat> Welcome. Thank you for coming. I blade, Hakko Sapphire, blah blah blah. I lose a lot of speed, but I gain a boatload of accuracy. You would be so slow. But uh, my attacks would almost always hit then. <clears throat> there we go. I'm locked. No. Red boots. A lot more move, but a lot less speed. Ah. Now, speed is still king. He who has more turns has more whoop ads. Not this one. I don't sense any chi. They must not be here. Oh, there's Who the hell are you talking about? Let's talk if you've got a minute. Don't take too long to decide now. Don't tell me what to do. Come back soon. Just said don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Whoops. But there's a shop over there. You bastards. Let me explore the bed. Gambling bar. <laughs> You're shitting me, right? Sorry to hold things up. Oh, come on. How delightful it is to see you, Mr. Arkride. And you as well, immovable. Why are we... Partying with this asshole. Like, he's a villain. Bracers are the heroes. You sure took your sweet What ass the time. fuck are you doing here? Didn't expect Arkride to be with you, though. I'm just here to do him a favor. But if I'd known we were coming to see scumbags like you, I'd have turned him straight down. Come on, you're still pissed off about the car? Yeah. Come on now, no need to be like that. He threw my car at a robot! <laughs> I knew you were in Calvert, but it's hard to believe it's been two years since I last saw your face, eh, Walter? So, those guys were part of the same Taito school. Ah. Walter was the son of the Dojo Master. Oh, he's evil. Walter killed him. Oh, because he's mega evil. Because Jin was set to be the actual inheritor of the Taito school. Yeah, but... Walter didn't like that. 
Mega evil. That's in Jormungandr, huh? Bugs the hell out of me we weren't even able to use that chance to settle the score between us. Heh, <laughs> same here. So I'm sure it's no coincidence that I was suddenly able to meet you so easily. I spoke to those two before you showed up, but... Meetups like this here and there ain't such a bad idea. How about... With how little we know about those guys. I see now. We're all after Almada, so we're here to trade information on them. I didn't think I'd get it. <clears throat> I uh, didn't think I'd chance into gathering into a gathering this major. So who's our imposing friend? I ask that you proceed as though I am not present. Uh, no. Don't know you. Don't have to do what you ask. Who think are you? Think of me as a random traveler who happened to be here when you arrived. Mm, no. If you're a random traveler, then you have no business being in this conversation. That's uh, asking a lot. Though the coat and you being a part of this group gives me an idea of who you're affiliated hmm. with. To kick this thing off, it's proving impossible to even learn more about Almada at this point. Heard a report the other day that a bracer on an undercover op on them still hasn't come back. We have been in much the same position ever since the situation in Longford. Not long ago, a cold-blooded warning video was sent to our Council of Elders. That the kind meant to serve as an example. <laughs> Ugh, they just keep getting worse. We've had nothing like that on our end, but there is one guy up top who can't seem to wipe the smile off his face since they cropped up. He's one real shitbag, so if he likes them, you know they're real monsters. <laughs> Sounds to me like we all think we're better off crushing them before they become even more of a headache. This guy... He the one you mentioned a while back? I've got a list of questions from the Oathbreaker. So start running your mouth, or I'll run my fist through your face. The infamous fourth anguish, huh? Doesn't quite sit right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I imagine our definitions of crush differ here, but at least we know where we all stand now. Save for our friend keeping his cards to his chest there, anyway. It sounds like the CID is up to something, too. Still, wish I could figure out just what their boss is thinking. Old Rocksmith's successor, huh? Heard some colorful rumors about him myself. But knowing he's turned a blind eye to a hole like this makes him alright in my book. Indeed. President Rocksmith was a broad-minded fellow in his own right. But the current president has proven even more receptive towards us. Some of the elders are rather fond of him. Though that does also make him a far more formidable foe during negotiations. Uh, from our perspective, the President's willingness to work with you guys is one giant, flapping red flag. Oh, do not misunderstand. All of our cooperative efforts are in line with the Guild's code. Heaven forbid other. Can you guys not probe each other while I'm stuck right in the middle? I feel like I don't even need to be here anymore. Easy, Arkride. Your part's just about to come up. Walter. <sighs> it ain't often we get a chance like this. And you can't pick a better place. You weren't satisfied with how we ended two years ago either. So what say we pick it up where we left off? Right here, right now. Huh. Sounds like a plan. Wait, you saw this coming, didn't you? Hell no, I ain't here to watch two monsters beating the crap out of- You said you'd watch. You and White Orchid Dragon are joining. <laughs> Come on. Exchange info. Exchange blows. Either way, we're getting to know each other. I admit to some reluctance standing between combatants of your caliber. But I am also not one to pass up a chance to face Mr. Arkride and the famed Jin the Immovable. Wait, you're not fighting with me? Oh, fuck you. Well, you should be. Sorry, Arkride, but this is just how it's gotta be. Oh, fuck you too. Thing? You know what? Fuck all of you! We'd lose sight of ourselves if it was just one-on-one. -on -one. And who knows how much damage we'd cause then. It's not my job to police you! This is a lawless zone! Nobody needs policing! <laughs> Everybody here is a fucking criminal! Who cares how much damage you do? <laughs> uh, you damn asshole. Oh, fuck all of you. Fuck you all to the lowest depths of Ghana. I shall act as observer. Fight to your heart's content. Pick a side! <laughs> I don't even care if you fight against us at this point. Who the hell even are you? Why are you so up for this? You're welcome on my spot. You're welcome to my spot, you know. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Uh... 
Ready? Begin. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> Try not to bore me, all right? Shut up. <laughs> Don't hold anything back now. All right. You're way too attractive. <laughs> Like, I know I said I like attractive villains, but he's way too attractive. Oh, what? Like, he's just, he's just too attractive at this point. Too attractive. Oh, is that all you got? Okay, so. Going all in. Stun extension to stunned enemies. Damage to stunned enemies for 36%. Matter, huh? Extra physical damage and extra strength and defense. Yo, what's up, Scarlet oh, Alvin? How you doing? You so what do we got? Heralding Fist. He has Going delay and a back attack bonus under your kick. Conceal them. Distend. HP heal. Damage Going resistance matter, up. Huh? That would push oh, him back a little bit. One of these. Try this, <laughs> I'm doing pretty all right, except for the fact that one of my partners in crime said, "Hey, you want to come join me?" And then it turned out to be, "Oh, hey, by the way, we gotta we gotta fuck some shit up and fight some dudes." Would have been nice this to know that ahead hurt. of time, Jin. Throwing that out there, friend. Here goes. Oh, that actually... I did not have as much SP as I thought hurt. I did. Or CP. Oh. It's going pretty alright. How, how about you? Energy output maximum. Behold the fist Here. of the immovable. Uh, oh, Vince's uh, gonna fuck him up. Oh, Jin fucked him up. Oh, he did. Damn. Nah. He ran away? Walter, you are a fucking bitch. <laughs> He's the one who was talking shit and fucking runs away. You're making me get serious. I thought you were about to say you're making me horny. <laughs> Man, the things you wish. <laughs> as long as you don't grant them, we're all good here. <laughs> Well done. We did it. That was easy. Am I still on nightmare mode? Maybe. I would imagine I am. They had a lot of HP. <laughs> and you still won't accept that S rank promotion. Why the hell not? I'm just not ready for it. My Taito skills have nothing to do with it. Like, friggin. Shin is good. Like, he is hella good but i don't know if he's cassius bright good though it'll that sure must maybe, maybe that's what he's thinking if i can beat you here oh <laughs> oh yeah will it now oh whoa the hell are you uh hold on a sec this is looking real bad i gotta scram oh, i can't move i fear there is no stopping this i am honored to bear witness so us being here did not mean a damn thing. That is enough. Oh no, you're grounded. <laughs> oh, Risha, not Risha, fucking. Oh, her name, fucking. Oh my god. I can't remember her fucking name. Neither I can either. I mean, I guess. Yeah. They they literally they said it like twice I think. They've said it twice, but she was a major player in some of the earlier games. Oh, thanks for the follow. Oh my god. Can't remember her name. Your Kilika. Kilika. Yeah, Kilika Raran. Uh, you got here quick, and here I was hoping we could duke it out a little longer. You're grounded. I figured you'd have a lot of catching up to do, so I thought to give you some space. A mistake on my part, I see. If someone's so sexy, you are so daft. Are you a future S rank bracer and a society enforcer, or are you infants? Infants. <laughs> Babies, in fact. Wait a minute. This was all his fault. I guess that answered my question. <laughs> Babies. Don't give me that. You were all gung ho until she showed up, buddy. Looking more and more like infants from where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. I was rather looking forward to seeing that to its end. <clears throat> you are a force to be reckoned with, Flying Swallow. It's good to see you, Spriggan. I see Jin is causing you trouble yet again. Yeah. 
As for you, Sal, are you sure it's alright for you to be out of Crossville after your promotion to president? Worry not. I've foisted all my responsibility there to Yin and the SSS. Like, hey, hey, Risha. Hey, Lloyd and the gang. You do all my work. Bye. This guy has no shame. Looks like you bought... Looks like you brought more suspicious folks to the party. Um, I play a lot of different RPGs. I'm bouncing between this game and East Origins in the mornings. And sometimes I'll load up and stream some Isaac just because it's Isaac and it's great. What? You got a problem with us, punk? Where the fuck did you... Who are you? Are you... Randy's cousin? You might be Randy's cousin. So you're the Spriggan of the Republic. But personally, I think of you as the dropout of the Cone Loan School. Oh, bitch. you are a bitch. Wait, are you? Now, now, Silly's. It's not good to pick fights with him when we've only just met. Who the hell are you? Even if he is a shady piece of human waste from Adios knows where who can't figure out which half of the moral fence he's standing on. Oh, fuck you. We did not We did not come here to be attacked. I mean, we knew this law, so we kind of did. But fuck you in particular, dude. No, I'm not a big fan of art. Well, even I wasn't trying to be that harsh. You sure, Salise? Curious. Hmm. Still, I see it was worth our while to come down here. Who knew a battle between the society's finest Eastern martial artists and a student of one of the three great schools would be waiting for us? I mean, I'm a student of one of the three great schools. I'm Kun Loon. But perhaps the greatest surprise of all is seeing you. <laughs> so... Sal represents Heiyue. Mm -hmm. Elaine or Jin will probably represent the Bracer Guild. I would assume Walter would represent Ouroboros. So I assume these hooded assholes are probably Ikaruga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were acting kind of funny lately. But finding out your old buddy-buddy with the society is one thing I didn't see coming. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. I am a mere traveler who chanced upon this place and its current company. Nothing more. My man, God, that got my fucking man looking like best the genus over here. <laughs> Why you got, do this? got my man looking like best the genus. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it makes sense. He's like the number three or number four. Like he, he's fucking, he's fucking good. Like best genus gets it done. He's good. I ask that you pay me no mind, Mother Celise, Father Leon. Wait. No. No. Are you Grawls Ritter? The Church's Holy Knights? You're not even trying to hide it. <laughs> you are quite the interesting fellow, Vice Captain. <laughs> Must have been a hard job bringing a couple of runts like them down here. I thought they would make a fine match for you. We do have an agreement right now, after all. Who are you calling a couple of runts? <laughs> you sure can run your mouth, Direwell, but don't go getting cocky. Yeah, they're from the, uh, they're from the church. Mm. How about I show you in that hard head what I can really do? Yeah. With what, Misty? That sword? Sure you're going to be swinging it and not the other way around? Not a teeny buffer like you even get that damn. I'm 27. Damn, she's older than us. Huh? I said I'm 27. Any questions? Damn. You're old. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess some guys are into that kind of thing. Like me. You are so dead. Sorry. Worth it. You had to step on a landmine. She hates when people talk about her little baby face and impressively short height. You're gonna die next. Also dead. <sighs> and I'll leave this I'll crap to you, Arkwright. No, fuck no, you! You are such a bitch! Why me? Uh, I feel like I know where these three are from. Oh, there he is. How the fuck did you oh find me? Oh my god. 
Guys? Wait. Huh? So, what kind of crazy party is this? I don't know. Well, if it isn't Aaron, how'd you even find this place? I thought I threw you off my tail. Oh, I, you know that, uh, your hollow core and <laughs> your phone and the stun rod you're testing for me? Obviously, there's fucking tracking in them, loser. <laughs> this is what happens when you only keep people half in the loop. Elaine, you are such a bitch. What? You go on and on and on. Oh, don't let the kids get into danger. Don't let the kids do anything bad. You bring them to the worst part in the town. You bring them to where people go to die. Elaine, ugh, I didn't think you'd wander down here too. Uh, wait, isn't she? Oh yeah, be, be safe. Keep the kids safe. Don't let them do anything too dangerous. Oh yes, follow. I will take you to the bad place. <laughs> Uh, the one and only Beauty's Blade, but the woman next to her. I happened to run into them during their search for you. I did have my doubts on whether to bring them here or not, but as you can see... Well, in any case, I had a feeling you were here. Well, oh as my you can, God. I had my doubts about whether to bring them here, but as you can see, I'm a fucking hypocrite. My apologies. <laughs> I had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah, that's why I told you to stay back and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Clearly, they didn't listen. They did not listen. But now that I see it, this place certainly does pique my interest. You're Shut you're up. only 20 years old. You're still a baby. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to bring you down here at some point. But what's with you beating me to it, Elaine? You're the one who's constantly harping about keeping my name. Never Thank real. you, man. Thank you. You fucking said it. I was saying it. It has been said by both of us. <laughs> you go and see now. We're used to danger. Shut up. You're a... You are still a teenager. The real you, infant. You are 19. You are still a teenager. Fairy is 13. She has just barely become a teenager. Agnes is shockingly 16 despite having tits like she's 30. And Rosette, she might be 20, but she is still a fucking child. And besides, I see some other kids down here too. You're dead. I know that you have our best interests at heart, but no one likes being kept at arm's length forever. I'm sorry for all the trouble this ended up causing, man. Are you? No. Are you? No. But hey, it ended up being a good chance to teach him about this place, no? No! Oh, please, don't start acting like you did nothing wrong. <laughs> I'll say, I have some choice words for you too, Jin. You didn't think to discuss your coming here with anyone else? Mm. <laughs> Quite the arrogant move on your part. Uh, well, you see, I, um, uh, Van said he wanted to, he wanted to go have a guy's, guy's business. Man's business. <sighs> well, fun's over. I've had enough of being here. Today it was more about saying hi anyway. I've done what I came for. Walter. We will see each other again at some point. Even if it's the only other place I can imagine that happening is your prison cell. Well, kind strangers, if you should be fuck you, you didn't do anything. Yeah, that's enough hellos. Sorry for making you show us down here, Chief. We're out of here. See you all around sometime. I wouldn't be surprised if we met again, though that depends on what A does. Well, now that the air has calmed down a touch. No. You leave too. Perhaps those of us who remain might Continue sharing information. No! Fuck you. Go away. We're, I'm done. We're I'm going to bed. Man, you never change. Why we stay? Because we need information. No. Sounds like there's no room for doubt then. almada has got some other organization working for him. So it would appear. Their funding is at least partly covered from those who fighted the racial terrorism of the past, too. That's awful. Is that handful too? Yep, this will be it. Okay. Van was telling us about that not too long ago. Our company's risk assessment led us to the same conclusion. Up until a few years ago, racially motivated attacks on those of Eastern and Central Eastern descent were all too common. <clears throat> they were known to be orchestrated by white supremacist groups who traced their origins back to the Old Kingdom. <laughs> But the situation changed significantly when a rather large group attacked the trade conference in Crossbell four years ago. 
Fortunately, we were able to quell the situation thanks to an insurance policy we had in place. And as soon as the crisis was put to rest, the former president started an aggressive crackdown on those groups. You didn't hear much from them after that. Then the post-war reparations put the entire issue on the back burner. That's not to say they disbanded, however. If anything, the economic prosperity provided an ideal cover for them to continue in secret. And now their cover is coming to an end, bringing the issue of them to the surface once again. Well, I don't know how those assholes are tied to Almata, but if they've got all the fat stacks at their disposal, then that explains how they got so big so fast. Yeah, and with that kind of mirror, they could bring people on the outside into the fold. Like the group Melchior and that new puppeteer come from. A group able to wipe out a high-ranking company of Jaeger single-handedly, and likely with special abilities at their disposal. So then they are from the gardens. Ah. All this as fuck. Mm -hmm. I am so good at games. Like, I am so good at remembering what I've played in these games. There's so much to remember. <laughs> I am thoroughly unsurprised you've heard of them. Few, uh, few have, even in the criminal underworld. What's the gardens? Is it some kind of group? They're a criminal organization that's of a different breed to mafias like Almada. They don't have much to come with the society either of mine. We first learned of their existence nine years ago. Their modus operandi is gathering orphans and giving them first class education in assassination. Damn, didn't know stuff like that was even real. Unfortunately, it very much is. Their members are few in number, but they complete their missions with startling success. The organization is divided into several groups called Gardens, with each being led by an overseer. We are aware of their presence at Marduk as well. Their threat level is considered to be S+. Plus. Internally, it was at one point believed that most unsolved assassinations were their hand. Yeah, you can imagine the headache when we even had another group trying to mimic their playbook. Still, their name hasn't cropped up very much over the past couple of years. That's since the overseer of the Garden of Swords was taken out by two members who fled the organization. That would be Swain and Nine, or Nadia, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, our, the, we followed them in the last... Mm, last Reverie. Game. Yeah, Reverie. Yeah, they were hanging out with true Rufus. Rufus. Oh, wow. I feel like I've read that story somewhere before. Me too, I actually have the physical book of that. Hmm. What is it, Van? Nothing. Anyway, now we know that the group of monsters is working with all my... It's still a mystery how they ended up that way. Same with how they wound up with all that terrorist funding. But maybe a more pressing question is why they're working together. True. They've got three of the worst tiles that exist. Just a matter of working out what hand they're going for. You a Mahjong player too? Er, I mean... <laughs> Kilika's just not happy with anything Jin did. Yeah. She was... She was the daughter of the school. Oh, um. You're right, we're going to need to focus on that going forward. Indeed, albeit in our own unique ways, no doubt. Well, I believe we've had enough discussions for one day. Still, it seems clear there's more room for negotiations between us than some other groups going forward. Eh, I am most humbled that you are including us in that. Well, I don't know about you and Gein, but Hey UA has its moderates too, like Fon. Take it we can include you guys in that too, Arkride? Goes without saying. Hell, we're... We're the common thread between all of you. And you're just going to keep using us as a bridge between you anyways. You got that right. So we would. But of course. <laughs> I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> hey, UA, the CID, and the Bracer Guild. And they are, they're all just assholes. Stop being so in sync. He's, he's so mad. I don't blame him. I see it didn't take you long to adjust to life in the capital. Just bear in mind that Lady Austin is rather worried about you back in Longport. Do try to exercise restraint in your daily life. Man, she could stand to chill out a little. And you should be the one checking in on home more often. How's Zinn doing, by the way? He moved to Braun Ramaparia for half a year now, right? I believe he is doing rather well. He attends a distinguished middle school there and is blessed with many good friends. Come to think of it, Chief, I know you go way back with him in the Dire Wolf, but I would have figured Renee would handle this kind of thing. That's right. The smart guy, the the smart guy you and Delaney grew up with, yeah. 
He's actually quite occupied with another case for us. As what that case is, you will soon see. Oh! Lose my number! Huh? That's sure an ominous way of putting it. Yeah. I fucking hate all of you. And she's the one of the more reasonable ones, too. Why can't the CID be staffed by more normal people? Forgive me for saying so, but you're a fine one to talk. You're fired. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you came to a place like this without us. You're also fired. Kind of pisses me off I let you shake me in the first place. But that's in but that's in the past now. Yeah, and I thought I thought I was such an old man. You're fired. <laughs> so just what is this place? You didn't say anything stupid to piss me off, but you're fired too. I hate all of you. Leave me alone. It's called the Black Light District. It's the city's unofficial 13th district, and it's dark side. A lawless zone that changes location from time to time and that few cops dare to trip. It's home to criminals of every kind. Good place good place for them to get together, too. To think that all this time, such a place was right under my nose. You know, I feel like Abi said something about it to me before. I want to live in its existence. Well, this is my first time seeing it in person. <laughs> Looks to be a combination of multiple underground areas that went unused during the city's urban planning. Good spot to hang out. We had to walk through a whole damn maze just to get here. An underground coliseum and contraband as far as the eye can see. It's like it was made for me. Aaron. You are gonna shut up. Just shut up. Well, too late to do anything about that. About that now. You're here. I mean, I guess people stayed away because you had a lane, but... We're always getting into scuffles around here. So let me teach you how to speak this district's language. Yo, yo, yo. I'm a fucking beast. I'm gonna give you the whoop flop and the what for and the yo and the down low. Get to stepping or I'm gonna get to stepping on you. No. <laughs> we'll take a tour while we do, but just keep your eyes peeled, all right? Right. Of course. I'm down. <laughs> Boss is gonna yell at me. <laughs> okay. We came from here. We shop there. We shop there. We shop here. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the way you wanted to go. Hey, Mister, how about some reading materials? What are you have today? Girl, what you doing? What? Selling. Selling bad books? No, selling a book on how to make toast. The fuck? <laughs> oh. Thanks for coming. Thanks. For being? Let's talk if you've got a minute. Ron leads from the outside of the door before his lock tight. That's not shop there, 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 there. Don't take too long to decide now. Here. Come back soon. Okay. Oh, I remember all of you guys. Interesting. You make one strange group when you all come here together. But hey, what isn't weird is when you live in the Black Lake District. Common sense is for the surface dwellers. Just be careful down here, folks. These parts can leap out and bite you if you don't keep an eye out. Yes, yes, they can. Didn't mean to go all the way up here. Cool! There's a match going on right now! It's some kind of arena? Nice. Yep, this here's where they hold fighting tournaments. You go in and beat the shit out of each other. Makes for a gambling hotbed, as you can imagine. Oh, color me intrigued. Wow, that's awesome. Sounds like an amazing place to train. Yeah, no, literally anything goes in there. Roids, mods, explosives, you name it. It ain't the place to train. It's straight up a blood sport in there. The organizers will even come up with bullshit reasons to make you fight monsters and archaisms. Even if you survive all the shit they throw at you, it really ain't worth it. Just steer clear of it, alright? That's fair. Sounds like you really have to be on your toes in there. Pretty decent prize money if you win, though. I'll give them that much credit. It's one way to make ends meet down here. Mr. Arkwright, you're not speaking from experience, are you? Nah, that shit ain't my scene. Well, not anymore, I mean... 
Look, they were hard times, okay? That bastard paid for a new truck, but he didn't pay for all the mods like the previous one had. So, we fought to the death. Tooth and nail. Bloody knuckles. Bear boxing against monsters, archaisms, and each other. For parts. All, all so we can get some fucking 24-inch chrome. <laughs> it's fine. The, the wheels stop going, but the rims keep spinning. That's When he got out of here, he became bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he became bitches. Whatever you say, Chief. Next time you decide to enter, let me know so I can put my money on you. Hell no, I ain't setting foot in that cesspit again. No, that makes me sad because I kind of wanted to set foot in that cesspit. Wow, there sure are a lot of bars in this place. There's the shop. Hey, gorgeous. Why don't you stop at They are likely the only sources of refuge for the people here. Damn, her name's Candy. Nice. Me a sweet tooth. Well, yeah. That was good, and you know it. Oh, that was good, and you know it. For. It's a wild burger. An untamed bur hamburger stacked with patties. <laughs> uh, girl after your own heart. Dynamite Cola. A popping fizzy soda that lives up to its explosive name. See? Soda. <laughs> See you later, handsome. See you later, sexy. God dang. I'll see you later tonight. Know I'm saying. I never know what you're saying. Hey, girl. How are you doing? Just as sexy as before. Okay. Shops. 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 Oh, guy Marty fucking boss of Okay. So it came from up here. Now there's the shop that I wanted to check out. There's that shop. Alright. So I hit that one, that one, that one. I hit that one, I hit that one, I hit that one. Alright. We... Hit that one. So now I want to wrap around and go there. What? I'm so lost. I don't know which way is which anymore. Shut up, no need to fret. I have this area all mapped out. Hey, girl. Hey there. Come on in and have some fun. Just don't get too naughty. All right. We'll see. <clears throat> what will it be? He sells turkey leg. Need a chicken break? Try this grilled jerk turkey. Come again. Oh, didn't mean to go here. Deploy Proceeding to neutralize. I'll kick your ass. Uh, Fine. Let's like play. your spunk. <sighs> if we must. Use a sharpness to get the upper hand. Let's party. Come on. Come on. Well, I don't know why Reset got booted from the party, but okay. I'm sure you guys have figured it out, but the Blacklight District ain't exactly the kind of place you visit for fun. Disagree. Aaron's another story, but the rest of you make easy pickings for scumbags and lowlifes hacking it down here. You don't come down here by yourselves, understood? Yeah, I get what you mean. Things can get really dicey if we get surrounded here. But if you bring a buddy along, I bet it'd make for a fun fight. Well, ideally, you won't be fighting in a city at all. Still, I didn't realize there were so many people like that down here. Yep, pretty spooky when you think about it. This world here is a lot closer to yours than you might be comfortable with. It is, but honestly, I'm just more surprised it's all existed right under my nose. At least it's surprising to someone as well-to-do as me. Perhaps I'm just not very aware of my surroundings. Mostly that. All oh, little rich girls got problems? You'd think this would be something of a problem, but it's like everyone just turns a blind eye to it. Yeah. I hear you. Blacklight's a lawless place, but they have their own rules instead. The big one being you don't drag innocent civilians into your messes down here. Most tend to follow that, so they'll leave you alone. Keyword being most. Some of them step out of line like we just saw. Reminds me of Hayway's own code. Do you visit here often, Mr. Arkride? You seem to be rather well informed about this area. I check in from time to time. There's intel down here that you can't find anywhere else. And as you guys might have noticed by now, it's a good place to sharpen your street smarts. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. That's got to be like the best part of this whole trip. Man, Jaeger born and bred, ain't ya? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I hit that shot. Okay. Ooh, 
You look dangerous. Do you like danger? Oh, come on, I'm charismatic. <laughs> I'd better see you again. <clears throat> well, well, if you want to eat us, one and only Spriggan. What brings you here, darling? Got any time to stay and play? Always do. Your lady friends are more than welcome to join you if they're up for it. We've got girls that know how to keep a woman company too. Oh, it's just freaking crazy. I'm, I'm moving down here. You'll be drowning in pleasures you can't find anywhere up on the surface. I can promise you that. Stay a while, won't you, big guy? Aaron, go. Um, I don't get it. What kind of place is this? It feels alluring. I feel drawn to it, but I really don't know why. I've never felt like this before. Hard no. Letting you two waltz in here is just asking for trouble. And you! Don't even think about sneaking inside while I'm not looking, punk. <laughs> I'm an adult. What do you care how I spend my free time? Sometimes a guy needs to just let it hang, you know? <laughs> True. I care because you'll get hooked on that shit in two seconds. Can't trust your horny ass to stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of the girls still have some growing up to do. Those services aside, I've still got some things for sale here. If you change your mind and decide to spend some quality time with our girls, just let me know. I'll wait right here for you, handsome. It appears she and Mr. Arkwright are acquainted with one another. Whoever she is, she is certainly has quite the way with words. Reputation for sucking our customers dry, literally and figuratively. But we still have our standards. For one thing, we only put the squeeze on our richest customers. We don't overwork our employees either. Getting addicted only leads to trouble in the long term. Indulge responsibly, okay? Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but this lady is really alluring for some reason. I know what you mean. She's beautiful. Yeah, she has her fans on um, both sides of the aisle. Probably now that she can recruit all those girls for the place. Right. Okay, anyway, I think that's all of the shops. Yep, I think that's all the shops, and that's everything I wanted to do down here. Thanks for the grub. Oop. Love me a sugar rush. Love me the booger bop. Everybody gets 25 extra magic defense. We did all that shit. So let's leave this place. Oh, you know what I just realized? We haven't checked any bulletin boards here. Don't sweat that. As a rule, I don't take four spigs from anybody down here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why not? There are a lot of people here who could use us who could use some help, aren't there? For real, nobody down here is exactly innocent. So I can't imagine any of them being able to go to the cops or braces for help. That's the problem. There are some rare exceptions, but almost everyone down here has a checkered past in some way. Ultimately, I can't trust them not to abuse the system. Worst case scenario, I get farmed out as a grunt for some real sketchy shit. Not worth it. That does make sense, given Spriggan's reputation for assisting in legally gray matters. I can see how a bad faith actor might exploit them for their own gain, and how society at large would differ little to defend them. Would offer little to defend them. To be clear, I already make a point of filtering out those garbage posts to start. More than anything else, it'd just be a giant time sink trying to vet requests from these parts. That's the biggest reason I don't bother. As much as some folks might think otherwise, I don't deal with criminals. I deal with people who have complicated problems. When somebody has a problem they can't rely on the law of the guild to solve, they come to me. That's all there is to it. That's bad for you. What can I say? It's worked for me so far and must be doing something right. End of the day, if someone here really wants my services, they're not completely out of luck. They still got two options. They can post a force big in another part of town, or they can come talk to me. Same as anybody else, really. Doesn't mean I'll agree to help, but I'll hear him out at least. <laughs> That's our boss. Always trying to keep the door open. Yeah, we don't check. We don't fucking do shit. Turn to the surface. Yes.
After leaving the district, they made their way to the surface following a different route. Ah, it's night break. October 18th, 505 p.m. Movie time. Damn, it's already this late. We're down here. We were down there a while. It connects to the Riverside District, too. It was like waking up from a dream. Hey, I guess it was all a bit too much for a kid. Speaking of kids, it seems like that boy you ran into is the son of a Jaeger. I really liked it down there. Shady criminals excluded. It was like a conflict could break out any second. A perfect place for drink. Not this again. <clears throat> At least it hadn't fully descended into anarchy, even if the rules were somewhat lax. <laughs> it seemed like a good place to procure goods and materials you can't get on the surface. Yeah, don't want anybody getting hooked on the place, but just use it when you need to. Just follow the rules. That goes for you in particular, Aaron. You okay, Anya? Yes, you're awfully quiet. Yeah. I'm, I'm moving out of the country. Fuck that shit. No, I'm perfectly fine. It was just a lot to take in. I'm feeling a bit of a culture shock, I suppose. I can hardly blame you. I'm sorry, I was probably making you feel even worse with how carried away I was getting. Oh, you don't need to feel responsible. It's just, um, to be honest, I've got something else on my mind, too. It does kind of feel like something's been eating at you lately. Worried about things at school? Yes, actually, there's a major opportunity coming up that I was considering opting into. But I think I've decided against it. There's nothing more it can teach me that I haven't learned already, after all. Oh? Hmm? Our information did not lead us astray, I see. Oh, we were busy. Duh, we don't have time. It's good to see you all, my friends. What kind of cheeky ass limo is that? That it is. Your Highness! Najee! Damn, talk about showing up unexpected. Ugh, so this is what the Chief was talking about. Correct. No, my God. His Highness and I have something to discuss with you. Please, my man. No, we're tired of talking. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Yeah, that's the code commentary we need. <laughs> <laughs> it's so spacious in here. Fucking okay. Aaron is Aaron is taking up so much of the fucking space. Yes. <laughs> this here is an Etoise stretch limo, right? Hell of a luxury. Ride smooth as a baby's ass too. Still room to move up in the world, huh? Fuck you. <laughs> Shut why is everybody being so mean to me? Hm. The suspension systems in a luxury vehicle like this versus my pickup are built for totally different things. <laughs> Speaking of, I take you like the part I sent you? Hell yeah, I did. I got it on special order to ensure it didn't clash with the with the aesthetic of your truck. Oh, like undersells it. It's a thing of beauty. Even if that ulterior motive behind sending it wasn't just in my head. Hmm? Still, I'm glad you're both looking well. Thank you. My apologies again for all the trouble we caused you. We weren't expecting to see you all again so soon either. <laughs> we just had to come with you with our piddly ass problems. <laughs> but we were already here for a visit with the president, so the timing happened to line up. I'm sure it did. What? Oh, that Gramhart guy. Huh. Didn't expect a meeting on the news. Some kind of secret talks. You needn't concern yourself with details that are on the need to no basis. Oh my god. <laughs> So itchy. Let me attack it with the drops. We don't have any drops that are fucking not expired. Oh. Well, we are living in crazy times. No doubt there's plenty for our leaders to be talking about. Well, it's just a bug that you clearly got something besides that you want to dump on us. Oh. I think I see what's going on now. I'm sure you do. We invited you here in the hopes of hiring you. Shocker. This is a joint request from Elsheim and the CID. Docker. That's quite the pair. Indeed. I'm committing to nothing, but keep going. The short of it is, we'd like you to go on another trip for us. Wow, I'm asking. To the home of the Verne Company, the city of Basel in the southwest. Oh, I don't want silver-haired boy in my party. That's Calvert's biggest orbit manufacturer, isn't it? This sounds like a if big one. If you could take a look at the screen. It's got a TV? 
Basel is an industrial city that is home to both the Verne Group's HQ and the Basel Institute of Science. Its artisanal district dates back to the Middle Ages, and it is surrounded by an abundance of nature. Our problem is that as of late, the city's orbital network has become unstable. In addition, suspicious individuals have been sighted leaving and entering the city. Don't tell me it's... I know what you're thinking, but we can't assume that until we have all the facts. Of which we have very little. Under normal circumstances, we would be well informed of the situation as our country has deep ties with the Institute. Unfortunately, its director, who also happens to be Vern's CEO, has been notably unforthcoming as a... That's strange. Isn't your country one of Vern's largest shareholders? Yes, it is. We are not their principal shareholder, but we still wield considerable influence over the company. Yet in spite of that fact, the CEO has been emphatic... Blah. Emphatically vague in response to our questions. We suspect he is merely buying time. Uh -huh. For what, though, I do not know, but his sudden shift in behavior indicates he's hiding something. Hence my request to you. Hmm. Hmm. You're not giving me much to work with here. And if you're looking for technical experts, you've come to the wrong place. Oh, I beg to differ. After all, you have one of Marduk's very own concierges in your employ. Also, a little birdie told me you're testing some revolutionary technology at present. Oh, you mean that Simu thingy? It's still undergoing testing, but we plan to reveal it to the public eventually. Good to hear. I'll most certainly be looking forward to it. Anyhow, if we took our request to the guild and landed at the bottom of their list of priorities, given that no civilian casualties have occurred. Uh. Also, much like the police, they're as wary as a fox with these sorts of mysteries. Right, and if we're on the job, we can deal with any problems that you'd rather keep away from the public eye. The conditions are fair, but you better be willing to pay top mirror for our services, or you can count us out. Oh, you needn't worry there. If anything, that makes you more trustworthy in my book. Is that a fact? Well, I think we should definitely be considering taking this on, especially if Almada is involved. If possible, I'd like to ask one thing before we agree to take this on. What's the CID's connection to this case? You haven't been upfront about that. Mm. Oh. Ever the sharp one. Vern and the Institute are currently part of two national projects. One of them is for making the Zypha standard available to the general public, both at home and abroad. Technology is a national secret, so our involvement should be no surprise. Makes sense. You gotta stay on top of any leaks and scandals so they don't slip through the cracks. What about the other project? Specified. Ah, oh, come on. Who? Even I don't know the specifics there, so I'm in the same boat as you all. I did try pressing the president for details, but he simply wouldn't budge. Apologies, but that's all the more reason why I cannot divulge any information about the project. The point is, there are many reasons for our involvement. This all sounds fishy as hell, but whatever, get on with it. As you wish. The issue of the Zypha Standards funding source is also, also needs to be addressed. And I will delegate that task to your group's chief and concierge. Huh? What do you mean? Since when did you become my boss? Fine, I'll explain. Zypha being Vern's sixth generation combat ornament is common knowledge at this point. But there's little known fact about the project's humble beginnings. It got a massive capital injection from an interested party. And that party just so happens to be... The Vallis Investment Bank. Which, as it so happens, is also the largest shareholder of Mardu, my employer. Mm -hmm. I see. It feels like I'm hearing the name Vallis a lot lately. Vallis O is in the city-state. Correct. It's a giant port city in the Central East. It may not have much land, but through trade in the South Sea, its people amassed a great fortune, which they are investing all over the continent. They're both our allies and our competitors. The Vallis Investment Bank is owned by them. They're trying to drag our ass into a Central Eastern turf war. All so we can be your eyes and ears. Well, I guess they could be sending in their own spies, especially with state-level secrets up for grabs. In short, you want us to investigate a highly complex situation from a nationals or from a neutral standpoint and get to the bottom of what's happening there. Does that about sum it up? I'll give you an 85 for that answer. In the event that Ballas attempts to interfere, we would also like you to act as a mediator. You've got this all mapped out. Mediation is not one of our specialties, unfortunately, so I'm not certain if we are the best option for that. On the contrary, I think you are all the safest bet on that front. If you take our request, you will stay in Basel for three days. I'm sure you will be... There will be other forest pigs you can juggle at the same time. 
We can't expect you to leave at once, but it would be best if you departed within the next few days. Wait. Alright, we'll give it some thought when we get back. Can't make any promises. I understand. We won't be out of options if you refuse. The CID never puts all its eggs in the one basket. Regardless, everything we've told you is strictly confidential. Though I think that a rather unexpected issue might work out in our favor here. Something involving an itch. After that, Prince Sharid and Kincaid saw them back to their office. Once they arrived, they enjoyed dinner at Walmart before gathering to discuss the Crown Prince's request. Take it you ain't heard a thing about all this from your own company? I'm naturally aware of the plan to make the Zypha standard available to the masses, but not about the problems in Bazell. If A really is involved, I would have expected to have already been informed. Gotcha. Does sound like something that would take us three days either way. But if we're looking into things at Vern and the Institute, we're going to need to work mostly weekdays. That would mean on yes. Actually, the timing here is rather perfect. You see... Wow, high school here sure sounds really fun. Trust a big school in the capital to bust out the fancy tricks. Erebus is all about its students thinking for themselves, so something like this makes sense. But you'll have reports to write for days about it, too. Yes, actually, some of my friends who came here the other day are considering Basil, too. I'll tell them to stay the fuck away. I was interested in going myself, but I wasn't sure whether or not that was the best decision. But you would be leaving next Thursday for three days, so the timing matches up splendidly. Hehe. <laughs> It's almost as if Arusha wants this to happen. Oh, not that I think my personal circumstances should push us into taking this on, of course. Of course. That goes both ways. You're a student first, so don't go forcing your decision to line up with our job. Even if we do end up in the same general place, your studies might mean we won't even see each other. Well, I suppose that's true. But that still kind of hurts. I love you, man. I'm, like, 30% older than you. I love you. You're... Young and dumb. You don't know what that means. It's okay. But it's fine. You're young and dumb. Huh? Heh. <laughs> That's rich coming from the guy who always decides where to go based on who will shove dessert down his throat. <laughs> Shut up, Aaron. Speaking of which, what are we going to find in Basil on that front? Shut up, fairy! Excellent question. A baked tart called Engadin is probably the most famous. Oh, you're not helping yourself, man. It's made of walnuts and honey nougat, and has a simple but mellow taste that's just... I suppose man's right. I need to make up my own mind about what to do. Otherwise, my great-grandfather would never. Or dad, for that matter. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you concern. Not at all. I don't think anyone could blame me for feeling conflicted. But should we end up going to the same place, rest assured that I will do all I can to support you. She is way too perceptive. Thank you, but why? Hey, looks like we're going to Bazel. Oh! No way. Duh. Guess we're taking the job. I'll speak to my friends at school tomorrow. But if you could work under the assumption we'll all be going and prepare accordingly. Got it, but... Don't forget that I'm a student first and foremost, right? I won't. I'll make this work so I can handle my obligations properly, both here and at school. Well, good night. Yeah, night. Well, I guess we'll be leaving next Thursday, same day as Aramis. But Renee and the Prince just dumped us on us, so they can wait until tomorrow, Renee, sir. <laughs> still, she sure is looking brighter than when I met her. With how much she's got weighing on her, I'm sure she's still got a lot to work through. But I'll look out for her as best as I can, being her boss. Though. Man, that sure was a day. Guess I'll go for a walk to wind down before bed. Walk, walk, walk. See, 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 see. Thank you. 